Let's do that intro. Let's do that intro. It's your boy, Rod! Jeez! Back! With another story time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what time it is. Yeah, I know what time it is. Before this before this story time even start. Click the like button. Thank you. I gotta get y'all in the habit of doing that. You should just already do it. You should say, yo, this nigga made me laugh, bro. Let me click that thing. No homo. But um You breaking my headphones? These cost a hundred dollars. Mine's cost five hundred, bro. I'm putting mine's at risk too. Alright, let's hop straight into the story time, man. I just called my aunt. I just checked up on her. So that just that just, that just just gave me the whole family vibe. I'm like, damn, I got to bring the family story times back. I got to. 500 for some earphones. F no. Look, bro, they do their job. Y'all saw I had them for months. At a certain point, you already got your wears worth. Look, my yo, if they ban me on here, you want to finish watching the story time, my YouTube... I said my YouTube. My Twitch is She Loves Rod. Get y'all snacks ready. Get y'all snacks ready. Sit back. I am your TV right now. Yes, sir. I am your TV. I am your TV. Somebody got stumped out and they ball. <laughs> That's what I just like putting in the titles. That shit don't be here. Niggas be like, yo, Rod, somebody always, somebody always ball. I'm like, yeah, we could tell he didn't watch it. Drinking iced coffee with my feet up right now. Say no more. Say no more. Let's get let's get right into it. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get into the family story times. Um, basically, I just scrolled through my photos and I saw the picture. Y'all just saw me laughing. I'm like, yo, I gotta tell y'all the story time. Only reason I'm on the type time, like I gotta tell y'all the story time, is cause uh I saw the picture and the picture it didn't have nothing to do with that day, but it was a picture of me and my cousin and I had on this orange and black shirt. The orange and black shirt is a family reunion shirt. And I remember the family reunion because when they told me I was going to a family reunion, I never been to one. This was my first family re reunion ever. And it had a square picture on it. And in the square picture is a bunch of black ass people I have never ever met. My grandma not my grandma not on there, my aunts, my mom not on there, my cousins, and they saying you we family. You feel me? Family reunion, throw the shirt on. And now I'm repping niggas I never saw. Black ass niggas I never saw. Uh, uh, some old lady, some old man, kids and all this. It looked like a big happy family. It just don't look like mine though. And and mind you, mind you. So they hit me with this. They hit me with this. All right, yo, we're going to our family reunion. You get to see your other side of the family. This, that, and the third. Mind you, I already know we in a simulation. This is not my family. And you can't convince me otherwise. Oh, this, um, they hit you with this. This your, uh, this, uh, this Aunt Nat. This not, uh, you know Aunt Nat. I never, I never... Hold up, my cousin called me back. Hold up. She she missed her wave. Hold up. No, she missed her wave. Hold up. Alright. You know Aunt Nat? Oh, you know, you know cousin, uh, you know aunt, you know uncle. No, I don't. I never know them niggas. You feel me? So they be on the type time like, yeah, check your donations. Appreciate it if you donated, bro. I'm telling a story. Give me a second. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, oh, shit. oh I, I remember you. And they only saw you one time. It's like, come on, bro. Let's get it together. Anyways, they give me a shirt. And they, the shirt got random niggas. So I'm asking, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? And it looked like my mom don't know either. So I'm like, is this actually family? And they're like, yeah, this is actually family. You feel me? They be trying to make shit up. You're not about to create something in my head to make me think this is my family. I already don't fuck with the family I got enough. So, like... I'm not close with the family I already got, so you're not about to convince me to go and hug these people and love them. You feel me? Certain people are loving people, though. Certain people will go to a family reunion, find a cousin they like, or connect with them, and really start fucking with them. You feel me? But not me, though. The back got names on it. I don't know the niggas. Mama, I'm like, Mom, I don't want to wear this shirt. She like, wear the shirt. You got to wear the shirt. You got to wear the shirt, right? That day, we leaving out. We throw the shirt on just at the third. We go out. We go to the family reunion. The family reunion is held at a park. 
Apparently, my family been watching too many Tyler Perry movies. We go to the park, you feel me? It's a big-ass park, trees, wooden bench. My uncle's out there with the grill. They got speakers. Mind you, my family must have been feeling jolly today. They letting, they letting random niggas walk up and come grab a plate. All of this going on. I'm like, okay, okay, I see what this is. Mind you, I'm 12 at the time, so I'm coming here, and even though I don't want to be here, it's on the type of time like, bro, it's free food, it's music, and even if I don't know these little niggas that they call them my cousins, I might as well chill. I might as well chill with them. You feel me? So, yeah, my account banned, my TikTok account. They hate me, bro. That shit say February 2024. I don't even know where TikTok going to be. Ain't they trying to get it deleted? Like, unban my account while we still living, bro. They haters. They haters. Every time they hear my voice, they see my face. They go, oh, yeah, why this John jumping? Uh-huh. It's right. They ban me, bro. I hate them, bro. Anyways, bro, I'm already knowing. It's 3 a.m. in the U.K.? Damn, bro, get some rest. That was a random fact, though. I didn't need to know that. Anyways, bro, I don't know these niggas, but I'm like, yo, I'm going to go have fun. I'm going to have a good time, right? Now, my family, my immediate family, uh, so the niggas, my family that I see all the time that I know of, they're there, and then it's a whole other half of people that that's family, right? So it feel like it's a separation because my family that know each other is with them, like, my media family is sticking together, and then the family that I just met, they're sticking together, but they're kind of talking to each other, dippling, dabbling. Not me. So I'm an open person. So I go over there. I'm talking to my cousins. Mind you, it's three cousins. It's three cousins. It's a girl, two little boys. One of them fat. They call them Chubbs. I'm like, yeah, what's up? I'm right. Chubbs is an asshole. Fat people got a lot to be mad about. I'm not really mad that he's mad. Bro got a lot to... Bro got a lot to uh, deal with, bro. You feel me? He already got to carry himself every day. You got the little girl. You feel me? We got you got the little girl. Her name, <laughs> bro. I'm no. Nah, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass serious. He already fat. They call him Chubbs, bro. You gotta think. Thank you. You fat, right? You fat, and they call you Chubbs. Yeah, is on the type time like. Yeah, is on the type time like. All right, I'm big, but you gonna give me a name, Chubbs though. What if I didn't feel good about my weight? You gonna call me Chubbs? He already fighting for his life, bro. Niggas like that, you can't be mad at. Yeah, not nah, real shit. Real shit. You got the little girl, her name Kaya. She's really nice. And then you got the other young boy. His name Tazmir. You feel me? Tamir, Tazmir. Tajmir. We gonna call the nigga Mir. Any Philly name always result into a Mir anyway. Mir. So, you feel me? We got Kaya, we got Mir, we got Chubbs. You feel me? Mind you, all three of them, that was my only cousin that was there, bro. All three of them, same mom. So, I'm like, oh, who your mom? Oh, yeah, my mom is such and such. Who your mom? My, my, my mom is such and such. Who your mom? My mom is such and such. They saying the same name. I'm like, well, who is your mom? I see the mom. It's the same person holding the cat. Uh, uh, what's that shit you carry the babies in? Uh, bro, she got a stroller hooked up with the John. What's the what's what's the shit you carry? I'm from VA. My friend named Mir, but he from Philly. Stroller, car seat, yeah, yeah, like a car seat John. It, it's a little car seat hooked up to the stroller. You feel me? She got the duffel bag on the other the other arm. You feel me? I'm like, damn. Oh, so y'all y'all got y'all got a lot of family members. I see y'all got a lot of family members. I'm like, how many of y'all is it? She says eight. I automatically feel bad. I'm like, damn, no, we can't be family. My mom would never. You feel me? Her mom just fucking. So my but that that's a lot that's a lot about the old school, bro. That's that tell you about the old school though. The um the old school moms. Old school moms, y'all got a peep, got like six, seven kids, bro. You gotta think how many aunts you got. You probably got four or five aunts. That mean your grandma was really fucking, bro. She was doing her thing. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. You know, do your big one. It wouldn't be me. But I'm just saying. Grandmoms was really getting it laid down on them. I don't know. They deep in. Girls now would never. If you're not intentionally having six kids, you're not having six kids nowadays. Yeah, she wasn't just getting fucked. She was doing the fucking. Shout out her, though. Shout out her. Aunt Nisi. Anyways, I'm chilling, bro. 
I'm chilling. I meet them. We running around. We playing on the park. You feel me? Mind you, side note, before we get into the family beef, I go over there with my cousins. Whether or not we close, that has nothing to do with if I'm going to stick up for my cousins. We go over there, and it's an open park. Like, it's a public park where we throw in a cookout at, the family reunion. So, it's other kids over there. We on, uh, what's that? We up Strawberry Mansion for real, for real. It's 32nd, 33rd, and... Allegheny, it's a park right there, and when we go into that park, it's on the type of time like we playing, and there's other kids in there, and they 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 picking on uh they picking on Fat Boy uh Fatty, what's his name? What they call him? Uh, bigger, uh, Chubbs. So they 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 yeah thirty third not yeah yeah. So they picking on Chubbs. So I'm like yo Chubbs, stop letting them pick on you, bro. Mind you, when I'm home, I don't let nothing slide, bro. I don't let nothing slide. So so like even my mom talking to me, I talk back a little bit. Teachers never get on get teachers never come at me and talk to me any type of way. My aunts don't talk to me no type of way, bro. I don't let nothing slide. So when I used to see kids let shit slide, it's like, bro, why are you letting this slide, bro? I would never let no shit slide like this. So Chubbs is really letting this nigga say, you fat. Just that in the third, dribbling the ball. You not holding my basketball. Young boy just being mean for some reason. So I'm like, yo, let my cousin see the ball, bro. Pre-recorded? No, that's not pre-recorded. I'm like, let my cousin see the ball. He, your cousin not seeing the ball. You can see it, though. I'm like, all right, fuck him. Let me see the ball. He give it to me. I give it to Chubbs. Why you give my ball to him? Don't touch him. Go ahead, shoot the ball, Chubbs. Mind you, I'm on big boy shit. You know why I'm on big boy shit? Because this around the time me and my Uncle Kevin was really close, and the hands, the hands was ready to be handed to anybody. And it was for anybody. At this time, I didn't even know you wasn't there supposed to swing on girls. Anybody could have caught the two-piece combo. Bitches had a smart mouth. They would have got hit with the with the uh Conor McGregor backhand swing, bro. I was ready for anybody. I was ready, bro. I'm I'm him when it comes to that. So I let him I, I let him shoot. I grab the rebound. I, I pass it back to him. Let him shoot again, bro. It's just a basketball. I'm about to get my brother. I'm about to get my brother. I said, yeah, you go do that, nigga. Yeah, Chubb shooting. He thank you, bro. Thank you. I could tell the bro was. I, I could tell bro was depressed from his from his bro. That seemed like he seemed so genuine, bro. It seemed like that's the first time anybody ever stuck up for the little nigga. So I'm like, you know what, little nigga, I got you, big cousin shit. You feel me? I'm really running this shit. He come back with a nigga that's six three. I'm like, I'm twelve. You not fighting me? I switched my whole story up. The Conor McGregor backhand was not gonna work on this nigga. Superhero status was revoked immediately. He come back with this tall nigga yeah i'm in high school give me my brother ball back i'm like back up chubbs so i'm still taking the front line but i am still backing up chubbs if you don't want to back up i will back up by myself listen to my orders or we will take the loss so i'm like yeah chubbs back up chubbs back up so the tall nigga got the ball yeah game on so now he just shooting the ball but now me kaya and chubbs and uh mirror at the other court and we talking shit but now i feel like bro I feel like, bro, we a, we bitches, bro. Because he just took the ball. Like, he wrong, bro. He's being rude to you. So now I'm like, bro, fuck it. I got to risk it. So I went over there. I grabbed the basketball. He, young boy, you ain't learned your lesson? I'm like, I can't play basketball? He told me I could use it. He, You told him that? He said, yeah, but he keep giving it to him. I said, why my why my cousin can't why, why my cousin can't use it? He like, uh, the young boy that was being mean at first, like, yeah, your cousin can't see it because he fat. I look up at him. Ain't you a high schooler? You tolerate this? Because he fat, he can't use the ball? That's a shame. Treat your little brother better, bro. I'm dribbling the ball. He, yo, don't say that, though. That's mean, but it's my brother ball. I'm like, yeah, you know it's mean, bro. Ew, you just an L, bro. You call yourself a big brother? Oh, my gosh. My little cousin over there crying, bro. He over there, he cried because you called him fat. You just fat shaming. You you telling him this, that, and the third. And you letting him, bro. And you call yourself a big brother. You was coming over here to beat me up. You just a L, bro. I don't know. I don't even want to play, hun. Take your ball. Take your ball. You feel me? I'm making it. I'm really, bro. And ninth grade, mind you, he ninth grader. I'm already, I'm already diabolical, bro. I'm making this nigga feel guilt that he shouldn't ever feel. He, he does this. He takes the ball from his brother. He gives it to Chubbs. He, yo, you can play. He, yo, stop stop being mean, yo. Stop being mean. Play. Both of y'all play. Everybody. Just evenly, bro. If I go tell mom. Dick him. Of course I gaslighted him. His little ass head. So, look. We all playing ball. This, that, and the third going on, mind you. 
I'm not better at these niggas at ball. They all suck. We all can't shoot, but I am the fastest nigga in the court. I'm running straight to the paint. <sighs> running straight to the paint. Lay up. Get the rebound because I'm a hyperactive nigga. It's running out of balance. I run. <sighs> Grab it. Rebound. They calling double on me every round. I'm not doubling. I'm literally doubling. I know I'm doubling. I just don't know how to dribble. I'm cooking these niggas. All this. He take his ball. The young boy take his ball. I'm leaving. Young boy got a football head anyway. Hey, Arnold John. So I'm not even mad that he's taking this ball. I'm mad. I'm, I'm happy I took the dub. So the point of me telling y'all that was I'm already looked at as a as a hero in Chubb's eyes. You feel me? Chubb's, Kaya, and Mir already look at me like I'm Thanos, bro. You feel me? I definitely got the time stone in these niggas' eyes. And that's what I was going for. Right? Yeah, he got a stewy head. Shit long. <laughs> Yo, stop dicky and hold your chin up, nigga. Um, Thanos not no damn hero. <laughs> Thanos the man, though, nigga. Thanos the man. They was looking at me like I had the glove, nigga. <laughs> nah, anyways, look. Bro, back to the story. They already looking at me like I'm like the man. So after, like, after we would play a little bit, then go back to the family, sit over there, sit on the bench to say, yo, y'all wanna go play again? After we catch our breath, get some juices, then we'll run back over there where the family at, sit down, have a talk about what happened. Yeah, I'm the leader now. I'm the group leader, temporary group leader, because I'm never seeing these niggas again. I actually wasn't a family man ar around that time. I could give a fuck if I didn't see him uh, today or the day after that, but I was on some family shit today. Uh, so I'm the, gr I'm the group leader. So now... We run back, we grab some juices and shit. Mind you, they try to pull the shit my aunt pulled. They hit they hit they hit me with the yo soldiers for the adults. Mind you. I already know they talking to me, and I know they talking to Chubbs, Kaya, and Mir. I let it go in one ear and out the other. It hit Chubbs, hit Kaya, then hit Mir. Who is it? It's me. What's Oh yeah, bring that in, bring that in. Bring that in. Hold up, the fool here, the fool here, the fool here. Appreciate you, King. You a king you are. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, ma'am. Right, I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to shut this down. Mm-hmm. No, my shit not cool. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. Look, my aunt, my aunt from the side, I don't know, hit me with the A. Hey, so this for the adults. I'm sipping my shit, right? I'm sipping my shit. She said, "Don't let it happen again." So this for the adults. That's fine. So this for the adults. That's fine. In my head, I'm an adult. So Mir like, yo, my mom would have, my mom would have hit me. She get mad at me. I said, bro, I'm not her son, bro. We run back over there. We start playing again. Second time we go over there, bro. We on the handlebars. My true monkey come out when I'm on the handlebars. I don't know about y'all, but I could do anything on the handlebars, bro. Anything. We on that joint doing this. I'm pulling up. You feel me? I'm doing everything, bro. We on the handlebars just playing. A little girl come over there. Mind you, she come over there. She, I'm better than you at the handlebars. Come over there with a little competitiveness. Mind you, she look all right. But it was on a type time. Like, you know, I wasn't really dating her. her. Her neck was long as shit. And I'm not really a fan of double chins. If you got a double chin, I'm scared. Look. Monkey bars? Question mark? Fuck, you never touched a, uh, a playground? Yes, monkey bars. She a cousin? No, 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 not Kaya, not Kaya, not Kaya. Some random little girl. She run up, she on some competitive shit. So she climbing around, she, all right, you do what I do. If you can't do it, you lose. I'm doing everything she can do. So I'm like, all right, you do what I could do. I do some weird shit. I climb two, then I stick up, go through them, the third one. Climb below, then get below, climb. She followed me right up. I'm like, all right, next John. One hand, swing. Half of the handlebar, swing. End of the handlebar, you do that. The girl grabs the first handlebar, swings, try to grab the second one. Her hand let go. She slipped, head hit the ground. Bah! Hard as shit. Bah! Just hit the fucking ground. Bust her little ass head open. I know she probably dumb as shit right now from that fall, bro. I witnessed what made her dumb. Concrete, nigga. 
Mm-hmm. Concrete. Hit her fucking noggin. Fat ass head with ballies in it. So now I'm like, damn. I'm like, yo, you good? She crying. Ah! Ah! Little ass neck. So I'm like, yo, her little ass neck. It's like, no, I ain't. It's like, no, I ain't say that, but she had her head, bro. I'm just like, yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Her uncle run over there, right? It's a bunch of families in the park just before you could get shot for just enjoying your life. He run over there. What happened? The little girl said, yo, he pushed me. Points at me, right? I say, yo, don't say I pushed you because you a sore loser. I said, yo, she tried to hit a move I hit and she fell. He says, young boy. Don't touch my niece, young boy. Real rap. I'm tired of your family over there. My Uncle Kevin here. I'm not for no disrespect. I told him, give me a second. I walk over there, tell my Uncle Kevin. My Uncle Kevin ended up knowing him. It got squashed. They told me, yo, y'all cannot go over there and play no more. Y'all have to stay over here. And this is where the problem started. This one I had to be in my family's face. And I don't fuck with my family like that. So now that's where to get there. Mind you, he know my Uncle Kevin. The nigga immediately apologized. No. <laughs> Uncle Kevin not invincible. He's still alive, though. You got to think, after you check so many niggas and you still alive, respect going to kick in somewhere. So, uh, he dab him up, whatever. But now my mom, you stay over here. Because cause last time we went over there for the first time, we told him about how the boy want Chubbs to see the ball. And my mom was like, y'all so crazy. Now, and this time, she, come on, every time y'all go over there, it's something. So now they're making us stay over here. It's boring, bro. They playing old-ass music, bro, that I'm not ready to comprehend. Um, and it stars. It's just, it's just really, but I remember the melody. I don't remember the lyrics, but it's really fucking old, and it's really disgusting. I don't even think now I would enjoy it. So... They playing the shit music, and I'm not really enjoying it, bro. We, we we can run from this tree to this tree. We then ran there. We saw every fucking leaf, bug. We saw every fucking piece of wood, branch, stick, and everything on the floor from that tree to that tree. We want to go back to the worst actual shit we can play with. So we try to sneak over there. I tell them, y'all, I got us. We're going to sneak over there. I said, follow me. His mom looked one way. We run behind the tree. Next thing you know, we trying to run again. She say, Chubbs, get the fuck over here. Everybody follow. I'm still running. I'm like, y'all don't run. She, she not going to do nothing. They start following her. So now I'm thinking, bro, like, fuck. So now I walk back. She and Sherrod, you stop. Because I could tell your mom. Just then the third. Your mom said no to being over there. Just then the third. Mind you, we only got caught because Chubbs wanted to not accelerate as fast as I knew he could if he really wanted to try. I didn't seen Chubbs hit as fast as John, bro. Chubbs didn't sprint it for his hot sausage when the food was done. So the fact that we were sprinting for freedom and he didn't want to really run, I knew he wouldn't have really did good during slavery times. This, this, bro, this, this, this be my shit about people, fat people. Once you show me you're capable of doing it, period, and you're not carrying the same energy when it comes to everything, I don't fuck with you. If you like, yo, Rod, let's go shoot a video. Let's shoot a video. Nah, bro, nah, nah. Let's shoot a video. Nah, 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 bro, nah. Yo, bro, let's go shoot a video with, uh, let's go shoot a video with, uh, with Ice Spice. Uh. Once you show me you can book it, now it's like, bro, you fucking nut ass nigga. Now, no, you're not. So it's like, bro, you ran for, you ran when the food was done, but you can't run for our freedom. Kaya, a girl, and she still was cooking it. Oh, you could blick hard as shit. You could blick hard as shit, but you can't get up to wash your ass. You could play the game, but you can't read. I'm whooping your ass, bro. He's just showing me his priorities fucked up. So, mind you, it's my birthday. Please follow me back. That's not my account. Happy birthday, though, little homie. Look, he already showed me his priorities fucked up. So now, we stuck, bro. We stuck. Now we can't go tree to tree. Now we got to stay in front of everybody's fucking face. Everybody talking. Kaya the girl. And she just interested. She want to sit there. And she want to keep eavesdropping on what the adults talking about. And hear and, and hear what they got going on. And be newsy. I never understood why kids newsy of their parents business. Why? So you can use it. So you can use it against them. 
when you argue, what you gonna do with it? Are you gonna backdoor your family? No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who fucking who. I say newsy. What y'all wanna say? Newsy? I say newsy. Look. She, bro, stay out of grown folk business exactly. It don't matter. It don't matter, bro. So, it's just fun. It's nothing fun about that. I hate eavesdropping, bro. If it's not about me, bro, I don't want to hear the conversation. If my name not in it, I don't want to hear it. I don't say nosy. I say newsy. This nigga vocabulary fucked up. Oh, well. Make sure you sub, though. They like the drama gang. People that like eavesdropping on niggas and, and, and talking, bro. It seemed like the family reunion. When I really was sitting there, bro, and I'm looking, I'm like, bro, everybody just talking shit about each other. My grandma over here talking about my uncles. My uncles over there talking about my grandmoms. My aunts over there talking about they brothers, which is my uncles. Uh, my older cousins just got old enough to be in the business. They sitting over there throwing in their two cents. That's family? No, that's that's dick eating. I'm like, bro. I'm like, this 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 means nothing to me. I'm bored. I'm like, bro, I'm about to go grab a hot sausage. This when everything got bad. I go grab a hot sausage. I go eat it. Bro, niggas who had fun gossiping, bro. Pet peeve, bro. It it make my stomach hurt. It do. It genuinely do. So when they was doing that, bro. Bro, yeah, because if I don't know, I don't give a fuck. You feel me? That's how family fights started, bro. They all be in each other's business. Now was now was girl, this not going on. Girl, then your baby dad. What? Why? Then you get then your baby dad do this. What? Or you on the side talking about it? It don't matter if you scream it or say it out loud. It's like, bro, little ass necks. Why are y'all even like? Shut the fuck up. Like, you feel me? They in the cello business. So I'm like, bro, this shit. Like, that shit always annoyed me. So I go over. I grab a hot sausage, right? My Uncle Richie said, he, my Uncle Richie, bro, he says this. He says, oh, get as many as you want. Grandma paid for these. Now, I already knew that was shady. I already knew it was going something, something going on between my immediate family and the family I wasn't too cool with. Because he hit me with the, yeah, grandma paid for these. Get as many as you want. Why does it matter who paid for it? So now I know it's already shady shit going on. But that don't mean I ain't going to grab as many sausages as I want. I was a greedy little nigga. Mind you, I'm skinny as shit, but I eat, I eat a lot. So after I grab my first one, I'm bored. So now I'm basically bored eating. I go over, I grab another one. All right, after that, I grab another one. I'm eating my third one. And I hear, I hear what you call him. I hear Chubb's mom say, yeah, and this little boy here, he eating up all the food. How I'm supposed to take a plate home? Just that in the third. How I'm supposed to take a plate home? Bitch, if you don't eat now, you trying to be on some nasty shit and not pay later. Have a plate for later, bitch. This is not, bro, a plate from a fucking gathering is a golden ticket for a black person, bro. And not the fuck me. I need to eat now, bro. Later, I'm going to eat something. Now, it's the cookout now. Cook out. We outside and we cooking. Cook. Like, you feel me? Like, that's why your son fed and shit now. You feel me? That's why Kaya boy hit it. That's why I'm here dumb as shit. He look like Ferb. Why are you going to sit here and tell me I can't eat, bro? Kaya, Kaya got ballies in her head. Two Jones. She got to get the same style. You you so ball-headed, you got to get the same style head. You got to get the same fucking hairstyle every time. How traumatized are you, Mir, that you really you really don't say one sentence the whole day? Y'all people, I ain't tell y'all Mir said nothing because he don't. You're 11, bro. Say something. It's been 11 years. Bro in a fucking moving coma. Don't tell me I can't eat no fucking sausages. Fuck wrong with her. So now I'm, now, now, now I'm pissed. I hear her talk. I walk over to her to be smart. I say, hey, can I get another sausage? Y'all know what she says? Oh, go ahead, honey. It's no problem. That was a fucking test, bitch! That was a test! That was a test! Did she, did 
good. Go ahead, honey. Get what you want. <laughs> Fucking munchy kid. Bro, I'm... Bro, I, so so after that, I say, why are you going to tell me? I say it like this. I say it like this. I dick her, too. I dick her. I dick her. I say it like this. I say, why are you going to tell me I can get as many as I want if I just heard you saying that I'm eating up all the food? Hey, yo, my man. Why would you tell me I can get another one if you just said I was over here eating up all the food? Dicked you. I dicked you. Oh, well, that's grown folks' business. I'm over here. I'm talking to my... This is my brother. This is my brother. You know grown folks mad when they start telling you shit that don't matter. This is my house. This is my brother. And when I'm talking to him... Shut your old ass up. I caught you red-handed, bitch. Stop gossiping. Bro, I'm I'm like, well, I'm actually going to have me another one right now. So you better get yours to go. And I walk off. Right? I don't even want no more. I'm full. My appetite is dicked. But I grab two more. I put them on a plate and I wrap it in the foil you. I look at her and I do this. Right? 30 minutes pass. I see her brother that just was talking to her pop back up with another pack of uh, sausages. So the nigga got in his car, ran to the market, grabbed a pack of sausages, right? So now he just on them Jones cooking them, right? But now he not putting them in a big, he not putting them, he not putting them in the trick on the on the aluminum pans that's on the table that's for everybody. He got him a little personal joint right next to him, and he just like this, like this, right? So I go over, I say, hey, I'm about to get a sausage. No, you not, young boy, we ain't doing that. I reach in. Full palm hands. I grab like three at the same time. Grab them. I say, yeah, I'm a happy one. I put it on the plate. I walk off. <laughs> I put. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not even hungry. I'm just like, yo, I got you, though. Bro, full palm angels, though. Right through the foil. You. <laughs> grab three. Put it on the jaw. He, yo, what the fuck you doing? I'm eating. My immediate family don't know what's going on. So, so now, I'm like, yo. I'm getting a sausage. I don't know what he, what's, what's his problem. What's your problem, bro? Now my family looking at him like, what the fuck is his problem? He is sausages right there. I, I told you no. Bro, he trying to lie, bro. He said, it's sausages right there. I told you no because uh, these are fresh ones. I said, why would I want the ones that's cold, that's sitting over there? It's flies over there, bro. I want the fresh ones straight off the grill. You Don't you like your food hot? I'm just looking at him. You like your food hot, right? Now be a chop, bro. Now, be a child and tell me that you like cold sausages, nigga. Be a child. Tell me. He, go ahead, yo. Yeah, I know. I dick him. I walk right over there to the trash can. I wait till you looking. Drop him into the trash can. You just started war, bro. I'm going to fuck you up. Y'all, y'all should have saw his fucking face. The nigga blood start boiling, bro. The nigga blood is boiling. Boiling, boiling. He's his blood boiling. <laughs> his blood boiling, bro. I wouldn't have got. I would have got slapped across my face. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. My mom always told me that. So, I'm explaining it to y'all in a term of where I was coming from in my head. But think about it like this: You go to an adult. You walking off, literally walk off. If he talking to you, act like you can't hear. Yo, what you doing? What you doing? I'm literally walking. I'm not hearing nothing he's saying. My uncle stopped me. Yo, he calling you. What you doing? Eating sausages. Why are you eating sausages? Because I'm hungry? What, what happened? Is there a problem? I told you not to grab these sausages. I wanted hot sausages. It's sausages right there. They're cold. I want my sausages hot. You had just sausages hot. What am I saying that's wrong? What I'm really saying that's bothering you? But I told you not to grab them. But it's flies on that one. It's flies on those sausages. I don't like flies on my sausages. You want me to bring you over the ones that's on the table with the flies on it? And then y'all can have those? I can replace it. What you really saying? Shut the fuck up then, nigga. Exactly. It's like what you really saying to me, bro. 
decked you. You decked. It's nothing you can say. I'm not talking to you no type of way. I could make you, at, bro, I could make you mad without saying fuck you. I could make you mad without cursing. I could make you, I could just make you mad. Period. So I'm just making him mad, bro. That's all I'm doing. So, blood boiling. I pull, I pour the sausages out, right? The nigga get me back with a mind game. Are you not fucking with me for real, for real? Veins popping out his head and all. <laughs> Mind you, bro, because when I had my second sausage, why are you, she was talking shit while I had my second one, bro. So it's like, why are you even talking shit while I'm eating two, bro? I can't have two. Like, what? So, he trying to mind, play mind games, too. He could have easily told my mom I'm trying to be a smart ass or anything. He playing mind games, dude, too. This is what he do. He grabbed all the solas out the crate before I could get something to drink. He grabbed the sodas out the crate. He put it in a black bag, tied it up. He took it to his car. While he taking it to his car, he had an open soda and a closed soda next to his jaw. So I walk over. I grab the closed soda that's next to his jaw, and I open it up. He come back. I'm sitting on the bench. I'm drinking the soda. I know he pissed. I'm not even looking at him because I know he pissed. I walk over to him with the soda that's open. I say, hey, is there any more sodas? He, no, nah, it ain't no more sodas. I'm like, damn, that's my last one. I'm just sipping it. I'm like, I got to savor this, John. He, yeah. He walked back over to his table. No soda. He asked his sister, yo, you saw you saw the soda I set down? Oh, I probably took it to the car. Just down the third. He, he don't think I got the soda. So he go back to the car. He grab a soda from that black bag. He walk over. I'm like, yo, you got the same soda as me. I found this, John, sitting on the table next to that one. Dicked him. He looking at me with the I.E. ass face. I'm like, yeah, I found it right next to that one. He, That was my soda. I'm like, you took all the soda? You had your sodas. You took them out the cooler. That's your that's your sodas. You had like four. I don't even know why you that thirsty, bro. You don't, you don't need that many sodas. <laughs> nigga drops it, bro. The nigga drops his soda on the floor. Boom! Punch me in my chest, bro. Punch me in my... He just punched... <laughs> he just punched me in my chest, bro. <laughs> he just punched me in my chest, bro. Y'all know how I react, bro, to getting punched. Y'all know how I react. Uncle Kevin left, y'all. Uncle Kevin left. He gave everybody a hug. No, y'all like, Uncle Kevin, he can't save us this time. Uncle Kevin left, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You really been on here for 15 hours? Yeah, bro. We doing a we doing a uh we doing a subathon. I'm I'm streaming five days in a row. When this timer run out, that's when I'm ending. Bro, punch me right in my chest. Ugh! Ear come ear out my lungs. I can't even breathe. I'm like, oh bro, I fall to the ground. My mom, what the fuck is you doing? Just stand a third. He tells my mom, he got a smart ass mouth. He just cursed at me. I, bro, I did not curse at this nigga. I didn't curse at him at all, bro. I didn't curse at him at all. So now I'm sitting there like, I cursed at you? You know I didn't curse at you. But my mom used to me getting smart with her and my teachers and everybody. So she, I know he got a smart mouth. Cursing a new one, though, Sherrod. She believed in this nigga and all that. I'm like, mom, I didn't curse. I didn't curse. I'm talking to her over there. I'm like, I didn't curse. Now I'm arguing if I cursed or not, bro. My mom like, yo, just sit down. So now I'm just sitting down. He feel like the man. He walking over there where near I'm at, looking at me, talking to the adults, walking around, eating, telling the kids, yo, we're going to get ice cream. He go get ice cream with the kids, all of this. And now my mom like, yeah, no, you ain't getting nothing. He, I wasn't spending my money on him anyway. You was going to have to spend your money. I don't, I don't pay, I don't, I don't do stuff for kids that curse. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he don't even know what he just started. You just started a war, nigga. You just started a war. He don't even know. You just started a war, bro. You gotta think, bro. My mom, my birth together. My dad. 
my second mom, my teachers who see me eight hours a day every day cannot defeat me. Why do you think you, a random human that I met today, will take me out? My mom has the ability to whoop my ass whenever she wants and she can't beat me, nigga. You think you won from a chest shot and a sit down? <laughs> nigga, you will never beat me. I am great, nigga. You random ass nigga. Now I know what y'all thinking. Oh, Rod stomped him out. I didn't ever have to touch the nigga. I know what type of, what type of games we playing. We playing light Yagami games, bro. You want to be smart? I'm going to be smarter. You want to play dumb? I'm going to play dumber. My mom told me to sit down because I cursed. Step one. Step one to winning is seceding. I can't do nothing to him if I'm locked down. Mom, can I pull you to the side? What's wrong, Sherrod? I apologize for cursing. I apologize for lying. I said fuck. That's the only thing I said. I said fuck because he made me mad. I apologize. That's all I need from you, Sherrod. All I need from you is accountability. Munchkin. Shut up, Mom. I apologized. You know why? Now she say, now you may play with your cousins. I know you missed them. Go ahead, go play with your cousins. But the ice cream truck already left. You can't get you can't get no ice cream. I'm back out my seat now. His blood boiling because I'm already out my seat. He don't know he don't he don't he 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 don't know why I'm up. He oh you let you look this how salty this how I knew he was salty. He said, Oh, I see you you let him out his seat. <laughs> oh all right, look, little homie. Ice cream truck left. I ain't mad at you. Look, I'm the adult. I just want you to know at all times I'm the adult. And I want you to respect me. I'm your uncle. It's love. Alright. <laughs> Puts his hand out. I reach out for the fist pump, nigga. You will never get a shake from me, nigga. I shake niggas I respect. You are not respected here, nigga. Shut your lame ass up. He like this, I'm like this. What you want to do? Hands still out. Shake with your right hand like a man. Dab dab his wrist. And I keep walking. <laughs> oh, little homie still mad? Not your little homie, bro. I tell him like that. Now I'm talking crazy. I'm not your little homie. I walk over to Kai and them and all them and Chubbs and them. Chubbs like, yeah, my uncle was over here talking stuff about you just on the third as he licked his ice cream with his fat ass. <laughs> Just lip it, licking ice cream. Kaya over there, devouring her a SpongeBob sandwich, chewing the gum eyeballs. They enjoying them a nice snack. Uh, Mayor over there being quiet with a smoothie, sipping a fucking smoothie. I'm mad as shit. Don't got no fucking no snack. I'm mad as fuck. I'm mad as shit. I don't know what I could do to get this nigga mad. So I start doing it. I start doing it good. I start doing it big. They over there two-stepping, this, that, and the third. The nigga left his keys, his wallet, and all that. Under the table, inside his shoe, because he got his shoes off. He got Crocs on now. I take the nigga keys. I walk over to his car. I unlock the car. I grab the black bag with the snacks. I mean, with the with the sodas. Boom! All the sodas bust. He got a plate down there. The plate got chicken. I grab a piece of chicken. Throw the rest under the car. Close the door back. Lock it. Put the keys back in his jaw. I'm eating chicken. Chicken, bro. The chicken been gone since 2 o'clock. It's dark out. Now niggas wondering, how you getting chicken? Oh, this from my plate. This from my plate. I already got the up, but I need them to fill it now and later. Like now and later, nigga. I'm sitting there, I'm eating a chicken. Damn, the chicken been good. Oh, there's that fingerprints. What the fuck? Fuck is he, a detective? Fingerprints don't matter? So so now I'm on a type tip like, um, yeah, I already, bro, I already dicked him, bro. I already dicked him, but now I got to get him, now I got to get him real mad, bro. Now I got to get him real mad. Niggas like, yo, put them ribs on, put them ribs on. We jamming, we out all night. I love my family. It's good family vibes. I love my family. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga got the ribs on the stove. 
while niggas move. I'm standing by the grill. I'm like, yo, ah, 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 talking. As I'm talking, this one my hand doing. I'm unscrewing the fucking grill top. Nigga come over, try to flip a grill. Boom, the whole grill fall. I'm yo. Everybody, yo, 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 yo. Whole grill fall. Yo, 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 yo. He yo, oh my gosh, I wanted these ribs so bad. I'm like, let me help you pick them up. He, thank you, bro. I smack the rest of the, the not, the good grills. It fall into, the, the, uh, the rest of the good ribs. It fall into the fucking jaw. I'm, it's, it's falling. He, yo, you knocked it over. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. He, they probably still good. Get them. I grip it with the leaves. I'm like, this ain't still good. He, you gripping them. I'm not. I get up. I'm a step back. I step on the one that's still good. He, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't know. Dicking him. Dicking him. He don't even know what's going on. I don't know. Everybody rushing over. Oh my gosh. Just clean it up. Nigga still listen to music. He, bro, you fucked up the ribs. I look him in his eyes. I say, bro, you was never getting ribs from the rip, bro. I'm not clumsy or dumb. I knock those ribs over in person, over on purpose, and I walk off. Mind you, it's nobody but me and him. He what you say, yo? I said, huh? He what, yo? What? 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 Mind you, he go to my mom. We bought this grill here. That's how I know where it unscrews at. This grill, we didn't lost to this grill so many times. This is a, actually a bad grill. It's a shitty grill. He go to my mom. Yeah, he said, uh, he said, he said, uh, just stand the third, all of this, all of this. Earlier today, bro, I helped them, I helped them tighten up the grill. So my mom like, what? He said, what? I'm looking at my mom. She, what did you say, Sherrod? I said, I told him that the grill was going to fall regardless because it wasn't tightened up on the bottom. He didn't want to listen to me. I told you, bro. I'm about to go over there with Kaya. I'll start running over there to, to Kaya. My mom, come back. I'm like, yes, she tie your shoes, dicked him. He thought he was going to hit a little, uh, he think it's all over. It's not over, bro. It's not over. I grab a bottle of, I grab, I grab a, they got liquor everywhere and cups. You feel me? They got liquor and cups while he cleaning that up, talking to my mom, still trying to get me in trouble. I got, I grab a, a half cup of, a cup of liquor, pull it in his shoes. Now his shit smell like, bro, his shit smell like bounce that six. Bro, he, bro, my dude, now he, bro, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna make this nigga day bad as shit. All this. He don't know this about nothing that's going on. Everybody about to leave, right? Everybody about to leave. We leaving. I'm like, my mom, bro, my mom like, yeah, give your uncle a handshake. I know y'all on a rough start. I'm like, I apologize. I'm like, yo, I like your boots too. He, yeah, man, let me go put my shoes on. I'm like, all right, we leaving, we walking off. I hear niggas, yo, who the fuck? Who the fuck? While we walking off. Who the fuck? All this, he walk into his car, he see that I spilled soda all on the bottom, all on the bottom of his seats, hit the back of his seat fucked up. He, what the fuck? He calling his sister, who did this? Who did this? You said you was getting one soda out of my car and then the back of my car fucked up. He arguing with his sister. He was just talking to, talking shit to. His boots smell like dick. I don't know what to do. All of this. We pull off. We, when we pulling off, we saying bye to everybody. We pulled off on the car next to him. I'm like, yeah, the left side probably smell like pineapple. He what? We pull off. Nigga called my mom. Yeah, I think your, I think your son did it. I think your son did it to stand in third. I said, why would he? I said, Mom, I didn't do that. Why would he even be holding the sodas? We was all thirsty all night. Yo, he had the sodas. He out of pocket. When I tell you, when I tell you, you can't fuck with me, it's not because you can. It's because you can't. I kept my, I kept my, I kept my shirt, I kept my shirt as a, as a, as a trophy to what I did to that nigga. It's a pleasure in me seeing somebody get off and, and destroying their day. I think I'm a very nice person. I just think once you try to pull a little slick one or you do some rude shit, I'm going to take it to the highest extent. 
oh, oh, right, I never lose an argument. Because it's like, I didn't, if I'm in an argument, I didn't, I didn't, I either know all the facts or I didn't come for you, you came for me. So if you're saying, dang, why, why he eating so many sausages and it's my second sausage, nigga? They lucky it wasn't the girl. My aunts was there and they would have beat her the fuck up. Donations, put exclamation point donation and then you can send a dono. Send a dono and, and text the speeches on too. No, you're evil. That's evil. That's not evil. Now, I didn't ever get my ass whooped. I got home and I never saw them niggas again. And that was the end. I went home, man. Uh, exclamation point, donate. My fault. Donate. Donate. Not donation. Donate. Put exclamation point, donate, and then you could donate. Text the speeches on. And then, um... Tell another one. I missed it. It's gonna be on YouTube. Bro went home. His boots smelling like dick. His back seat smell like preposterous. He don't got no extra plate. And he wasted $30 on ribs straight from the meat market. Fucking loser. Niggas broken they meat and they end. If you watching this on if you watching this on YouTube If you watching this on YouTube, um If you're watching this on YouTube, we about to do a giveaway real quick. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the like button. Let's go for 10,000 likes, man. I didn't hit 10, I didn't hit 10,000 likes in a minute, man. If you're watching this, let's go for 10,000 likes. Let me see the last time I hit that shit. It's been a minute. Let's go for 10,000 likes. We about to do a giveaway. I'm about to, I'm about to give some money away. Um, Let's go for 10,000 likes and then... Yeah, just click the like button for me. That's all, bro. Last time we hit 10,000 likes was the Dukem video. Uh, when did our story times hit 9,000? Sober shit hit 9,000. Stay by the YouTube. By YouTube. You feel me? Click this like button. And make sure y'all tune into my last video, which is probably an IRL video. I love y'all, boys.